everybody! How are you doing these days? It's cold outside. We want to be cozy with some really hearty food. I'm going to introduce you to really easy and delicious recipe today. Are you interested in it? It's called dumpling soup. In Korean, mandukgu. Mandu means dumplings. Guk means soup. So mandukgu. Let's make a delicious mandukgu. Over the years, I've already posted a few recipes about how to make mandu, all different fillings, and also how to make a wrapper. I made it and steamed the mandu, pan fried the mandu, but I didn't make the mandu go. So a lot of people requested this recipe. To make the delicious mandu go, we gotta make delicious stock first. I'm going to use beef brisket, and then make a nice stock, and then just dump homemade Mandu, that's a dumpling soup. You guys might be thinking, oh, I don't have time to make a homemade mandu. What should I do? You can use just the store-bought mandu. I bought some frozen mandu from Korean grocery store. I'm going to show you later. Let's make stock first. Add eight cups of water. So I'm going to bring my brisket. So this brisket has to be really delicious. When you buy the brisket, it should be a little fat inside. Let's cut brisket. Just a little bit of fat is delicious. Make this soup more flavorful. Sometimes the brisket doesn't have any fat, it's not tasty. When you boil this, it has to be a little bit fat. This is a half a pound brisket. And three garlic cloves. So brisket, garlic, we are waiting until this water boiling. Now I'm going to make jidan. Jidan is egg kind of paper. I'm going to separate egg white and yolk and then make the really thin paper. I can use as a garnish later. So I'll just make right now. Just a little bit. little salt, pinchy pinch, some stringy things, the egg yolk, take it out, and brisket, and garlic, and then turn down the heat to medium. So this is vegetable oil, a little bit. Wipe it off with a paper towel. Then turn off the heat. It's hot, still hot. We turn off the heat, but with the leftover heat, we still can cook this so that it's not going to go brown. So I'm going to flip over. So it's cooked. Yellow paper is done. And here, let's do white. Same way. And wipe off with the paper towel and turn off. When you make this, you, you have to use the non-stick pan. So if the pan is sticky, you can't make the beautiful egg paper. I always keep my non-stick pans in the really, like some secret place. And then nobody can touch this. 
Let's flip over. I'm going to cut this into thin strips. So I'll wait until it's cool down. Store-bought mandu. You can go to Korean store. In the frozen section, you can find this. So I found this kimchi mandu. So it's inside the kimchi. Kimchi dumpling with pork. But you can make, a, you can choose any kinds of your favorite filling inside. And I'll bring my homemade, homemade mandu. So shrimp mandu. So shrimp mandu and beef brisket stock go well together. Think about it. So shrimp in a seafood and beef. It perfectly go well together. This is my mandu. Homemade mandu. When I make a shrimp mandu, it's a pleated kind of mandu shape, folded nice, beautifully. But uh, for mandu soup, I prefer kind of look like a hat, <laughs> hat shape. So this is, you know, my mandu, shrimp mandu. Have you guys made this? When I make mandu cook, I use this style. I will add one egg in the last minute. Thirty minutes passed. Let's check this out. It looks great. My brisket is very tender right now. How many mandu you can eat? This is size. You can think about how many mandu. I will choose. One person, seven. So I'm going to add 14. It's 14 mandu. Let's turn up the heat to medium high. And cover. We need to add the green onion. This is green onion, large, large green onion called tepa. And if you don't have this, use just green onions, two green onions. But I have one, so I'm going to use this. More tasty. So you see, it's floating, floating to the surface. One tablespoon fish sauce. This guy's a sensitive, it's going to be broken easily. Use a wooden spoon like this. Nicely cooked. Nice taste. Very good. And then green onion. Just this guy is broken, it's okay. One broken is making more tasty. So let's add egg. Just wait about 20 or 30 seconds. And then sesame oil and ground black pepper, about a half teaspoon. All done. So I'm going to remove from the heat. Nice. So this is manduku and let's garnish this. This egg paper, as I told you, this is uh, like when you have some party and then you make it really nice looking, you can make it. But with family, you don't have to make this, right? But I like to show you a really beautiful way. That's why I made it. This is optional. We made manduku today. It's easy, isn't it? Really colorful and tasty looking. The kimchi, my winter kimchi. I have some other side dishes in the refrigerator. I don't need anything else. 
Mmm, nice. Brisket stock, so delicious. Mandu, good looking mandu. Mmm, shrimp flavor, so tasty. Succulent, juicy. Texture of shrimp is very springy and chopped Asian chives and tofu, soft tofu, really melting in my mouth. <laughs> I want some brisket too. Mm. Delicious. Outside today is so lot of snow we have now. I feel really cozy. After eating this soup, I'm going to go out. So today we made Korean dumpling soup, manduku. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.